Today I'm just making a quick video talking about turbo surge or compressor surge. Um, this is the project car I've been working on. I made a bunch of videos about it. Um, it's my Audi Coupe Quattro that I put a 1.8 liter engine in. Did a lot of, you know, upgrades, different rods and as you can see, intake and bigger injectors and larger throttle body and a bunch of stuff. It's got an AEB cylinder head and the lower end is a AMU out of a 225 horsepower TT. This turbo is a Borg Warner 251SX and it's a S S251SX and it's a pretty good size turbo. It's 51 millimeter and, and then the, the Exducers 71 millimeters and uh, it does experience a little bit of surge still. I uh, already did a couple things to kind of improve that. It only happens sometimes under light throttle application when you first kind of get on to when it first starts to get on to boost pressure and um, I've already increased the turbine housing size a couple times. It started off as a 0.28 or a 0.48 um, AR ratio which I should have known better. It was, you know, such an aggressive AR ratio. This thing spooled up really, really quickly and nicely. But, um, yeah, it was getting surged like crazy. So I increased it. Now it's a point, point 0.83 um, AR ratio. And it's much better. It's very, very mild now. It still spools up pretty good, too. I'm happy with it. But um, yeah, there's a couple different ways you can go about um, reducing it. The next thing I'm going to do is a different compressor cover. I'm going to do an anti-surge compressor cover. You see a lot of times on the front of the compressor you'll see a bunch of holes or a, a vent that'll go around the um, where the air filter attaches around the center hole on the turbo well what that's doing is when you're getting compressor surge and the car it's a, it only it's a small engine problem you know with big turbos so when it starts to spool up your exhaust side of the turbo it starts to move more volume of air than your engine can really handle so it starts to make pulses of pressure back through this side of the um the turbo and it pushes back up against the impeller and it's very damaging to the turbo it's hard on the thrust bearing and it starts to make a noise under acceleration that sounds like sh 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 <laughs> kind of like that that's the best imitation i can do of it and um yeah it's 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 terrible for the turbocharger a lot of times they blow up or blow up the, or destroy the thrust bearings and stuff like that but those anti-surge housings what those do is they actually allow the air to um to vent back through the inside of the turbo, back through this uh, cold side of the turbo to the inlet. So it kind of vents that excess pressure back out the air filter. And um, yeah, that can that can reduce that. If you're looking at it, you know, if you're looking at the compressor map, you can see a, like a, a big shape like this on your compressor map. And then the airflow of the engine, if the airflow of the engine is to the left of the compressor map, um, where it, where how it moves air, then that, I guess that's, that's what causes the surge. So when you add an anti-surge housing, it moves the compressor map slightly left, and then it can be back within the range of the engine. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. It's not very expensive. It's pretty easy to do on these things. You just, kind of the same as most turbos, you just unscrew this housing, this cover here, and then you just screw the new one on, and it's uh, not really a big deal at all. So that's all. I'll, uh, I'll show you again when I, uh, when I get this all together. And I'm pretty confident that's going to take care of my problem because it's very mild at this point. But yeah, everything else is doing really good. It's running really well and I'm, I'm happy with it. So thanks for watching.